walking is a great way to stay in shape. Doing it every day for a minimum of 30 minutes is the secret to a healthy life and a positive attitude. Have you been walking regularly but in vain? Hey there viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. With the popularity burst of gym culture, almost everyone has moved on to machines for workouts leaving walking behind. This may be counterproductive, especially when this simple activity helps in shedding a couple of pounds, lowers the risk of heart disease, improves balance, and strengthens bones. To get the most out of walking, it's important to recognize common mistakes and avoid them. Are you wearing the wrong shoes? Treadmill not the right way to go? What's your hand position while walking? Today we'll be talking all of these common mistakes and more. Before we get into the mistakes, let's start by talking about some health benefits of walking better blood circulation. Walking wards off chronic disease and ailments. This is because it brings up the heart rate which lowers the blood pressure and strengthens the heart. According to the researchers, walking lowers the risk of developing stroke by around 50%. Weight loss solution. Walking for just a half an hour every day burns about 200 calories. This means if you do it regularly for a couple of kilometers, you'll notice visible changes in your weight lowers the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Studies on people of different age groups have shown that walking at least a quarter mile every day lowers the chances of developing Alzheimer's. It even slows down age-related decline in memory, focus, and concentration. Strengthens joint support. Several of the body's joint cartilages have no direct blood supply. The compression while walking kind of squishes them. This allows oxygen and nutrients to enter the area which strengthens joint support. Lightens mood. Walking is the easiest way of lightening up your mood. It releases feel-good hormones and endorphins which work as a natural mood enhancer. The more you walk, the better you feel. So the next time you're feeling irritable, go for a walk. On to the mistakes you must avoid while walking. Number 1. Wearing the wrong shoes. There are numerous walking shoes for you to choose from, but that doesn't mean that they're all built to support walking. A good pair of shoes are lightweight, but still provide good support and cushioning. It should also be flexible at the soles, so it can bend easily and support the motion of your feet. If you have shoes that are over a year old, then maybe it's time that you replace them. This is because the cushioning and support system gradually degrades after about 500 miles. Have you been walking to stay fit? Tell us how it helped you in the comments section below. Number 2. Too much or too little arm swinging. Walking is not all about concentrating on your legs and your feet. You should also be aware of where your hands are, or if they're swinging too much or too little. While walking, arms tend to act as a counterweight to the legs and it's natural to move each arm with the motion of the opposite leg. Make sure to keep elbows tucked closely to the body and not allow them to swing further than the center line or over the chest height and beyond the back pocket when you do the back swing. Perfecting this will give you the power walk you've been after. Number 3. Overstriding Overstriding means taking wide steps. Walking in this manner leads to muscle injuries or shin splints. This happens because every time you take wide steps, the feet land away from the body's center of gravity. Planting your foot away from this hypothetical center mimics hitting the brakes, hard. This injures your muscles and also messes with the body's alignment. Another secret of walking properly and powerfully is the back leg and back foot. Taking shorter and quicker steps will enable a good push-off from the back leg. Number 4. Not taking enough breaks We all take breaks in between gymming, cycling, or running. So why not during walking? There have been several researches that show taking breaks between walking helps in burning more fat than walking continuously for long hours. A brisk walk of 3 minutes should be followed by another 3 minutes of walking at a slower pace. Following this pattern for around an hour will not just make your balance better but it'll also help in controlling blood sugar. In case you're a regular walker and go for walks 4-5 to five times a week, you should incorporate this method at least twice a week. Number 5. Flat-footed walking As we said before, walking is better when the feet roll through in a forward motion from heel to toe. However, if they fall with a slap on the ground, there's no rolling motion on your foot or you've been experiencing pain in the shins, then your walking can be described as flat-footed. Getting a flexible pair of shoes which has a low heel and bends will help get rid of this overlooked walking mistake. 
Number 6. Walking with your head down Do you walk with your eyes fixated on the ground or your feet? Do you check your phone or get easily distracted while walking? This causes tension in the neck muscles. This may even lead to injuries, discomfort, and leave you feeling tired. A good walking posture is not only good for the body, but also allows the lungs to breathe. It also offers a complete body line of support that prevents problems related to shoulders, neck, and back. Remember to keep your chin parallel to the ground, and your eyes should be looking 10 to 20 feet ahead. Number 7. Allowing the mind to wander off Tuning out or continuously staring at a screen may seem like the perfect way to keep your mind engaged and entertained, especially during a solo walk. It makes you feel motivated, enhances your mood and performance. However, blasting music while walking is a safety hazard. Along with being sure of your walking circuit, you should keep your eyes wide open for obstacles like road cracks or potholes. A distracted mind can't properly focus on the exact spot your foot is being placed and may lead to a potential injury. Focused walking not only protects you but also other pedestrians. Wondering what walking will do for your body? Watch this video and learn the benefits of walking for just 15 minutes every day. Now back to some common walking mistakes that need to be corrected. Number 8. Wearing the wrong clothes Yeah, you heard that right. Clothes also play a major role in determining the right walk. For a comfortable and unrestrictive walking experience, be sure to dress up in layers. The innermost layer should be used to wick off sweat and be made out of polypropylene rather than cotton fabric that holds sweat just next to the skin. The second layer should be consisting of an insulating shirt or sweater, which can be removed if it gets too hot. The outermost layer should be a windproof jacket, which is also waterproof and water-resistant in wet climates. Don't forget to top it off with a hat that works as an insulator and warms you up faster. Number 9 not hydrating regularly. The importance of drinking water cannot be stressed enough. Sweating while walking is something that happens to everyone. It's a natural way of cooling down. However, sweating does increase the risk of dehydration, especially during long walks. Drinking around 200 milliliters of water every 15 minutes into walking will balance out the loss of fluid. Also, the more water you drink, the easier it feels to exercise. If you've been experiencing cramps, digestion problems, or headaches, then this can be indicative that your body needs more water. Number 10. Only using a treadmill Using treadmills can be a great way of training all your walking muscles and practicing form. You can also train to achieve a quicker walking pace. However, it may not be as beneficial in the long run as one might think. Due to the absence of varied terrain, this is not the best way of burning calories and managing balance. Treadmills also need you to put in less effort when compared with walking outside, which leaves you open to the wind and land resistance, which helps in building strength, boosts mood, and strengthens muscles. For long, slow distance mileage, you need to head outdoors, work the various muscles to push the body forward and reduce the chances of developing pains and aches. Walking is an exercise for the mind, body, and soul. It's also a great way of getting out and socializing with your friends and, of course, keeping the threat of developing chronic disease away. Check out what walking every day will do for your body. Looking to lose weight? Here are 50 foods to avoid. Walking and eating right will definitely open the door to a much healthier lifestyle. What's one pre-workout meal you want to recommend to everybody? Tell us in the comments.